how to build a Wix website on a blank template. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to work on uh, with a blank template to build a Wix website. So it is going to be very easy and simple. We're going to head over wix.com, sign in into our account and then we're going to see the uh, site's dashboard. So I'm going basically to click on create a new site. So we are going to get this specific page. Either we are going to have uh, this uh, try in Wix Studio or create on the Wix editor. Uh, we are going basically to create on a Wix editor. So we are going to have the help of the uh, Wix ADI. And basically it is uh, going to be very simple. So I'm not going to use it with the chat. So we are going to set it up without the chat. What we're going to do basically is to have only the uh, specific type of the website written in here. So maybe you are going to have it like that or we can go ahead and click on skip. Basically, I'm going to click on skip and I'm going to see the dashboard of that website. It is going to be very crucial to not set up any type of website because you're going basically here to have the templates chosen for you and also recommended. But we are not going to use the templates in today's video. We're going to work on a blank canvas. So we're going to start by giving our website a name. For example, we are going to have here uh, maybe cooking or uh, Jack's cooking or I don't know here. Jack's, for example, uh, let's say here um, deals, for example, I don't know. We are going to depend on the type of the website that we are going to create. Click on continue. Now we are going to have uh, here the specific goals that we are going to attend with our website. So basically uh, we are going to choose some of them. As you can see here we have so products, collect leads, uh, ser offer services and etc. So I'm going to promote myself um, here, build a community maybe and share some knowledge in all of these. So also I'm going to have some uh, display creative wor uh, work. It is going to be dependent on your needing. So I'm going to click on continue. Now, what are we going to do basically is to have, as you can see here, the apps that we need, uh, online store booking, and you can go ahead and ignore. In my case, I'm going to ignore the booking. Uh, so we are going to uh, have here uh, the uh, other apps that we can add. Like here, we can add some events. As you can see, we are going to have also some blogs, maybe to share some knowledge that we have set up, portfolio, pricing plans, forums, whatever that you want. Uh, you can also have an Instagram feed, a chat. So you can add whatever you want from here. So I'm going also to have some files here, uh, table reservation, etc. Click on continue. Now we're going to click on continue to the dashboard. We're going to have here the dashboard loaded. And we are going to wait for it. So this is the dashboard. Now, what are we going to do is to click on design site. This is the first step. Now we are going to have here either the help of the Wix ADI or it is going to be the AI builder or customizing a template. But I'm going to set up with uh, or continue set up for now. I'm going to head over here. So basically I'm going to be back, I think, to the website. So I'm going to be back to the design and we're going to pick up a template. So we are going to pick up a template. From here, we are going to choose blank templates. So from these blank templates, we're going to have tons, not tons, basically we have only six ones, I think. So we're going or six or nine. So we're going to have them just right there. Now I'm going basically here to have the specific uh, templates added from here. So I'm going to choose the uh, most, let's say here, uh, precise one for me. So you can go ahead and create it from scratch or you have a minimal, um, as you can see, layout, classic layout, whatever you want to start with. And then you can go ahead and set it up. So. Let's see here what is going to be working with us. Maybe I am going to start with a layout or a simple layout or create it from scratch. So 
here I'm going to get some help because I do not want to have a blank one. So I'm going to have something that we are going to begin with. Maybe this one or that one. So I'm going to start with this. I click on only on uh, view details. Or uh, I can go ahead and click on edit and wait for a few seconds to see everything set up. So here, as you can see, you can enhance your AI content with setting up uh, some details about your website. Uh, put in the type of the website, uh, as you can see, that we have ignored from the first step. And also, we have the name of the website in case you want to change it. And now I'm going to maybe generate some site content that will help us a lot in this uh, or specific method because we are going to start from scratch. So when you're going to start uh, from scratch, you're going to be a little bit of a disadvantage in the terms of, um, uh, let's say, duration or the time. So we're going to have a little bit of a shortcut. So here we have Jack Deals. We are going to have here this, a for example, website that will help you, for example, get the best deals on clothing, for example, accessories. So we're going to have here accessories. And maybe we're going to have something else like, I don't know here, access, uh, clothing, accessories, uh, maybe we're going to have uh, and and everything for example and a lot of things and we're going to have it like that click on generate site text we're going to wait for it it is going to generate here some text as you can see this is the introduction so we have here uh, as you can see the specific section or the first section like as you can see here we have a banner i can go ahead and change the background to a banner Maybe I'm going to have it as a banner or something added like, I don't know here, I can go ahead and choose something else. So this is the best one. As you can see, I can go ahead and get, I can go ahead and create a banner from Canva. It is going to be more practical. Now for the menu, as you can see, or the navigation bar, I can go ahead and have this one or I change it for the layout and etc. It is going to be very simple. Now, what are we going to focus on basically is uh, the first compartment that we have in here and also the button. So I'm going to uh, delete the button of contact. I do not need it. Maybe I'm going to change the specific, uh, let's say here, uh, this banner to something else. And I can go ahead and head over here and start adding uh, the sections. I can go ahead and click on here, click on design sections, add elements or AI generated section can go ahead and get uh, that so the section type is going to be maybe promotion so we are going to have promotion get your best deals for example here I'm going to generate it and see what is going to be uh, having so we are going to have this one you can go ahead and uh, set up something different or you can integrate the section that we have and etc so it is going to be only a matter of adding sections ai sections design sections or whatever so we are going basically to modify it at its finest so depending on the type of the section that you are going to add uh, it is going to be crucial now moving on to the store if you're going to have some elements that you're going to uh, sell basically it is going to be your uh, as you can see here uh, specialty you're going to head over to the store and add a section special for your products. You can click on manage products and start adding or modifying the products that has been implemented and you're going to be good to go. Do not forget uh, also to head over the settings and add payment methods and shipping options when you have. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.